by the grace of God. That's right, 87 years wise. And he is an incredible gentleman. As a matter of fact, when you're talking about a loving, caring, compassionate person, that's Dr. Wheaton. When you talk about a knowledgeable, knows the facts and knows the information, that's Dr. Wheaton. When you talk about wants and likes to have fun, that's Dr. Wheaton. When you talk about a team player, you know, somebody, some people get it twisted. They say they're team players, but they mean they're team players as long as they can run the team. No, not. He is a true team player. Uh, he was an orthopedic surgeon, 50 years experience, my friend, and he got a revelation about true health. And now he's a global ambassador with Shop Free Mark. He's our health coach. As a matter of fact, my friend, uh, he is he's taken the 21-day challenge and the 10-day challenge. I mean, this, this gentleman is 87, and I'm telling you, he's full of life and zest, and you're going to hear with great delight. You better make sure you've got something right on the right with because he gives crazy good information in a short period of time. None other than Dr. Ariston Awiton. Take it away, Doc. Thank you very much, Dr. Stan Harris. Can you hear me, sir? Loud and clear, champ. All right. It is my debt of gratitude forever, Dr. Breakthrough, sir, for giving me the opportunity to take the 21-day breakthrough challenge. It was a wealth of information that I learned from you, a 10th degree, 10th degree black belt martial art champion, business leader, author, and speaker, whose rise to fame started because of four pillars, four people who believe in you. Thank you for teaching us to overcome our limiting beliefs, which I can summarize with the following. Here are a glimpse of some favorite wisdoms that I cannot forget. Sir, on the first day, you taught me, sir, that what I think about is possible. It is profitable, and it is probable. I was encouraged more on the second day when you told me that if I desire and if I know that I deserve it, then I will be determined to get my breakthrough because in the mind of God, I have already broken through. The third day was great news for me when you said that my next breakthrough is in the other side of the comfort zone. My comfort zone, sir, provided me a mind like someone on drugs that was immovable. But when I heard that great news, I woke up and grabbed my breakthrough by reaching over my side. Powerful, powerful. Day number four was even more powerful when I learned that once I wake up my mind to do something, God will orchestrate circumstances to align themselves in my favor. When I say I can't, my mind stops trying. But when I ask how can I, my mind keeps searching until it finds a way. There is a way, and I will find it. And if not, by the grace of God, I will invent it. Then, on the fifth day, you said, you learn with whatever you are going through, that's when you get your breakthrough. So you have to learn from your experience. That is so true. Then, on the sixth day, you explained the different types of breakthroughs, which to me was an acre of diamonds, very valuable. On the seventh day, you explained the contrasts of different types of breakthroughs, from the negatives to the positives, that transformed me from being a victim to becoming a victor. You really have to listen to it yourself, to whitewash your mind from negative thinking feeling to possibility thinking. On the eighth day, you illustrated the hardships that I encountered at the beginning of my efforts to progress in any worthy endeavor. I did, I did by illustrating the progression of the rocket ship from the gradual takeoff to increasing velocity. Then, boom, breakthrough happens. Then the rocket 
travels 25,000 miles per hour effortlessly. That's an analogy to taking any undertaking that I focus on. But it is the way Dr. Stan Harris explains to me with full excitement that uplifts my spirit. You just have to listen to it. Day 9, I learned again the wisdom of not quitting. On day 10, I learned how to visualize. You have to see in your mind and feel that awesome feeling that you have already accomplished your dream. On day 11, I learned how to verbalize. His example was Muhammad Ali, who said, I say I was the greatest a long time before I ever believed it. On the 12th day, you encouraged me to step up to the plate when you said that the master has failed more times than the student has thought of attempting. On the 13th day, you inspired me to read the greatest books of proven effective mentors. On the 14th day, I learned how to go after my breakthrough with intensity to wake up, pray, and hustle honestly. On the 15th uh, 15th day, I learned the universal truth that if I want it bad enough, I can get it. On the 16th day, I learned that my master mentor or coach knows what I do not know, so I just have to do it to get my breakthrough. On the 17th day, I learned that if I really want to succeed, I have to suffer now, then I can spend the rest of my life a champion. On the 18th day, you taught me that every master was once a miss or a mediocre. But a mediocre person can have a breakthrough and become a master. And when you become a master, then you have a message. And if you market this message to multitudes, you can make millions of dollars. You related the story of your own life of hardships. But having committed to the process, you have the breakthrough, the best version of yourself. I could cry hearing you tell this story, sir. On the 19th day, I learned how to empty the bad in my life by filling up with the good. This conveyed the wisdom of learning the truth in and the 21-day breakthrough challenge and in your effective books. On the 20th day, you repeated what I learned myself in martial arts, that there are five things required for learning to master anything. Number one, you master, your master communicate with you what he wants you to do. Number two, he shows you or demonstrate what you should do. Number three, you have to do it yourself. Experience it because what you experience, you do not forget. Number four, what you already know, what to do. Do it many more times over and over again. And number five, you have to transfer to someone else what you have learned so you learn and master it more and more. And on the last day, sir, the day 21, this is the story of the eagle, turkey, and owl story. I discovered the most powerful story and the principle that freed my mind and heart from the lies and the negative influence of others in my life. My friends, you have to listen to this yourself because nobody can relate this story as effectively as Dr. Stan Harris, a.k.a. Dr. Brito himself. However, let me say this, old Chinese proverb of Confucius who said, you hear and you forget, you see, and you remember, you do, and you understand. So because you heard from me what the 21-day breakthrough challenge is, does not count much because what you hear, you forget. You have to buy the package. It is on discounted price. Then you can see it. Then you remember. 
then do it experience experience how Dr. Breakthrough shows that to you do it and experience it and you will understand remember you are an eagle you are made to fly Dr. San Harris sir back to you what <laughs> whoa wait a minute wait a minute wait a minute I'm about to take my 21 day challenge myself <laughs> All over again. Wow, 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 Doc. That's off the chart, man. Off the chart. And incredible, incredible, incredible. And, uh, you know, we want for everybody to get their breakthrough. And as a matter of fact, Doc, um, if you don't mind also, I know if you could say a few words about these hydration drops uh, because you're you're the health coach, and my goodness, with all of your years of being an orthopedic surgeon and the things that you learned, um, so that is awesome what you did, my friend. And uh, but I tell you, whew, wow! <laughs> I was like, <laughs> awesome, awesome, awesome. So let me uh, again, folks. This is Dr. Ruston Wheaton. He has a free gift for everyone. If you go to www.200 diseases dot com, that's two hundred diseases dot com. And uh, so, Doc, if you don't mind. Uh, we'll make the time uh, to uh, – we've got about 15 minutes if you can do either the water or the, the thing that you did in Houston about the – oh, my goodness. Um, whatever you want to do, man, but just give us some more, bro. We, uh, we, are, we are hungry over here, and uh, these people are going out today. Um, what you just gave them is going to change their lives uh, and encourage them. So, Dr. Wheaton, if you don't mind – and by the way, everyone on the line, not only do you get to go to 200diseases.com, you get to give this out free to anybody and everybody to add value to their lives. And, uh, and, the, and I'm telling you, my friend, every single person I talk to, I tell them just go to 200 diseases, scroll down the left-hand side. Any problem you have, your wife, your son, your daughter, your husband, your cat, your dog, your horse, whatever you got, I said the good doctor will give you great information. And some stuff, by the way, You'll be able to do right from home, home remedies. Other things, you'll have to get products, and those products are all available at a discounted price with Shop Free Mart, and you'll have to get your membership, but the membership is a lifetime membership that's free. And so I send them my link to do that as well. So, Dr. Wheaton, my friend, uh, keep pouring into us, my friend. We're enjoying this. All right. Thank you very much, Dr. Stan. Now I want to uh, tell you about what is the right kind of water to drink. The answer is shop free mart hydration drops that you put into distilled water. Water is necessary for life, which means all living things die when they get too dehydrated. Good health begins with hydration. When the baby is born, cell hydration is at 100%. Each day, your cells lose a little bit of water until death finally comes as a result of dehydration. At retirement age, it is common to be at 1515 percent hydration, and death is certain at about 9% hydration. Drinking the right kind of water is one of your best natural protective protections against all kinds of diseases. If the body cells become dehydrated, this shredded up, making it easy for viruses and diseases to attack. Water is a vital component of all bodily fluids, tissues, cells, lymph, blood, and hormones. And the mucous membranes need plenty of water to keep them soft and free from friction on their delicate surfaces. Now, what are the ingredients of hydration drops? It contains purified mineral water that has been treated with a proprietary light enhanced technology. No chemicals of any kinds have been added. Adding hydration drops to distilled water renders the water molecules capable to enter the cells and allow nutrients or minerals to enter the cells. H2O splits into two atoms of hydrogen and H2 and one atom of hydrogen O. 
the H2 hydrogen atoms become an antioxidant that neutralizes the free radicals and the O atom is converted to energy. The distilled water being negatively charged neutralizes the positively charged toxins and pass them out of the body through the urine. Now, dehydration leads to death and disease. Reduction in cell hydration causes a reduction in nutrients, oxygen, and hydrogen getting into your cells. This translates to reduced metabolism, less energy, premature aging, accumulation of toxins in the body, and increased body fat. These symptoms lead to other symptoms including cancer, diabetes, and circulatory problems including elevated blood pressure and heart disease. Cells that are well hydrated tend to be alkaline. Alkaline body is more likely to resist disease of any kind. When the human cells are fully hydrated, they automatically maintain a normal pH of 7.0 to 7.2, which is the range in which cancer cells cannot survive. And here are my recommendations. I recommend that you drink distilled water with hydration drops throughout the day and add a few drops of lemon juice to each glass. Lemon juice enhances the purification qualities of distilled water and helps increase the body pH and gives it a refreshing flavor. I also add one half teaspoon of Himalayan salt. The specific gravity of Himalayan salt is the same as that of the blood. So most, it does not go into the blood stream. When you drink it, it goes down straight to the colon, and it makes your bowel movements regular. Try it, and you will like it. Water has memory, and uh, some scientists have even postulated that the water in your brain is responsible for restoring memories. No wonder people start losing their memories as they get older and brain cells gradually become more dehydrated. Drinking water uh, treated with hydration drops first thing in the morning is critical to brain hydration. Adding a dropper full of shop Fremont Gold to your first glass of water daily may also improve hydration and brain function. Drinking a glass of water treated with hydration drops one half hour before eating helps to increase metabolism and may help with burning excess fat. No wonder we have heard testimonials of people losing weight with hydration drops. Drinking hydration water at bedtime can help prevent heart attacks, which mostly happen at night, and can reduce the tendency of leg cramps while sleeping. Now, what is the proper way to use hydration drops? You have to transfer the distilled water from the plastic container to a glass container to avoid toxins from the plastic container to be extracted out. You only use six drops of hydration drops for every gallon of distilled water. Some people use 12 drops. How much does it cost you to drink the required amount of water? The contents of two ounces of hydration drops bottle can be used for 198 gallons of distilled water. The two ounce hydration drops costs you about $48 plus a few dollars of shipping. So if you drink one gallon a day, it will cost you about 24 cents a day plus the cost of distilled water which is 98 cents or less per gallon. Now, in concluding this presentation of hydration drops, remember the benefits of drinking distilled water with hydration drops. Reduction in free radicals, reduction in acids and toxins which cause pain, increased oxygen levels, reduction in bacteria, viruses, yeast, mold, and parasites, improves blood viscosity, reducing high blood pressure, reduces sticky blood, improved nutrient absorption, regulates body temperature, 
Bitter Pitch Balance at the Cellular Level, Reduces Constipation, Improves Bowel Function, Slows Down Premature Aging, Improves Memory and Brain Function, and may reduce visits to doctor and dependence upon medications. So, if you can avoid drinking tap water, but instead, drink the right kind of water that is distilled water with hydration drops. Take the necessary nutrients that your body needs and remove and avoid taking in more toxins into your body. You are following the right formula for health and longevity. Thank you, and Dr. Stan Harris, back to you, sir. Wow. 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 Powerful, folks. And now you see when I connected with this company and concept, why I declared war on deception, dehydration, and debt. And, uh, you know, Dr. Wheaton, um, Dr. Tipman's on the line. He wrote the book, Think Right, Live Right. He said in this book, which I'm reading, powerful book, 21 Day, it goes exactly along with the 21 Day Breakthrough Challenge. But he said that 87% of illnesses start in the mind. In other words, because of the wrong type of thinking. And uh, it is just incredible. Um, also, when you think about the fact that if our body is 70 to 75% water and our brains are 80% water or more, then that means when we get dehydrated, the first thing that happens is that the brain um, doesn't get what it needs. The proper neurotransmitters, uh, the fluid, those neurotransmitters end up dropping us down into a depression and so forth. And uh, over these years, I've just told people, just tr- drink three glasses of water, give about 10 minutes and call me back. And I'm always shocked when they call me back and say, this is, this is like magic. I'm like, no, it's not magic. When you give the body what the body needs, the body does what God designed it to do. So, but just real quick, Dr. Chipman, I don't know if you're available just to say a quick word, uh, but uh, let's see if I can unmute you if you're available. Uh, if not, I guess we'll, but um, I mean. Well, no, more, I'm, uh, I'm here, Dr. Stan. Okay. Doc, man, are you, you understand you getting the power of this hydration, how it fits in with what your book is, is empowering people and teaching people. Yes, I was taking notes on how it, he talked about, uh, you know, reduces or increases uh, brain health. And my ears perked up on that because, yeah, that's essentially what kind of is it we all stand in need of with the, uh, you know, as you've mentioned, Matt, with the various neurotransmitters and keeping, maintaining proper brain health by keeping those negative thoughts out, which secrete negative um, uh, chemicals into the brain. And by thinking positively, uh, increasing the positive um, chemicals into the brain, and then you add those with these dehydration drops. It sounds like you got a good good mix right there of the, the right brain food and the right brain energy to keep you alert. Dynamic you tool. Mood. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the dynamic <laughs> color. <laughs> uh, so, so Dr. Wheaton, as and we're thinking about this, so with what Dr. Uh, Chipman is saying, so when people have negative thoughts, Dr. Wheaton, literally those negative thoughts, would you – would you um, speak on the fact, do you think that also aids in the dehydration process versus positive thoughts? What are your thoughts on that, Doc? Um, it is important because when you have negative thoughts, uh, um, your immune system suffers. Mm. And you have positive thoughts, your immune system will work much better uh, to fight off all diseases that um, your body has so that um, it is very important to have positive thoughts and get rid of those negative thoughts because they will make us sick. Mm-hmm. Wow. <laughs> Isn't that what you say in your book, Dr. Chipman? <laughs> your That's thoughts exactly are making what you sick. I say, sick. yeah. Mm-hmm. You. Your thoughts are killing you. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> Wow. Wow. So this is like a double barrel shotgun then folks when you learn to have these the proper thoughts and you're intaking of these the, the proper nutrition with these hydration drops and um Dr. Wheaton also you gave some statistics about when we're born we're hydrated versus when we die. You want to you want to give those um real briefly please? Yes, uh, when we are born, our hydration is 100%. Uh, 
And then slowly, as we age, slowly, we are becoming more and more dehydrated, especially if we do not drink the right kind of water. And um, at retirement age, usually, hydration is about 15%. Uh, that is how it can come so low. And uh, death is certain at 9% hydration. So it's very, very important to be hydrated with the right kind of water. Wow, wow, wow. Well, this is just powerful. Well, folks, let's do this. Coach 100K, I know you got something to say. <laughs> All righty. Man, man. Oh, my goodness. This is great. Dr. Wheaton, thank you, sir, for sharing. And I mean, boy, you – you, 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 I'm, I'm gonna tell you this here on the side, Doctor Whedon. You, you, you blew Doctor Breakthrough's uh, uh, challenge. Man, you threw it out like you wrote that thing, man. I mean, you, <laughs> you, you spin it back like you wrote it. So, so excited about that. And thanks for keeping us hydrated. And informa information uh, given to us, sir, is life changing. Thank you so much for what you do, Doctor Breakthrough. Back over to you. All righty, so real quick, if you've got a quick question for Dr. Wheaton now, uh, don't, not, no medical questions, we can't, he's not going to treat uh, or anything like that, but if you've got a question as far as um, um, the, what he talked about today, you've got a question about something without making it, you know, um, talking about treating cure or something like that, I think star star will unmute your line. Because um, I know from time to time people ask me questions. I always say that's a great question for Dr. Wheaton. So just real quick, if you got a question, I think star, star, one we'll meet the line. I see we got Mr. Willie Langley out there, 86 years wise. And it was great seeing him in um, Houston, him and Dr. Wheaton together, man. I was like, come on now. And uh, I think we had like 40, 80, those were 80 and above in that room at that meeting. <laughs> and they're still kicking strong. So. That's what that's what I want to do, my friend. Incredible. So anybody, I think uh, coach is um, a star this, starter. This, 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 this is Mary Warren. Um, quick question. Hey. You talked about hi. Good morning. Um, you talked about living gold in the water first thing in the morning. Would you repeat that, please? Yes, uh, it is. Uh, it is advisable to put um, one dropper full of gold, pure gold concentrate in a glass of water in the morning because mm -hmm. uh, gold uh, takes away the toxins uh, toxins mm -hmm. in your body, mm -hmm. in your brain. So it will improve brain function. Awesome. Thank you. This, this B3, can you hear me, Doc? <laughs> yes. yes, sir. Where do you get the Himalayan salt from? You can get the Himalayan salt from um, stores like Walmart. You just go to Walmart and, log and ask where you can get it, and they will give it to you. It is a pink salt, which is very, very essential for the body because your body needs salt. And how much we got to put, how much we use of that every day? You use, I use one half teaspoon in one glass of water. As soon as I wake up in the morning, I drink that. And then I, um, I take my breakfast, and after breakfast, uh, you can be assured that uh, you can empty the contents of your colon. Yes, sir. Thank you. Okay, good morning. I do not have a question. I have a request. Can you hear me? Yes. yes. Okay, my request is this. I would like, first of all, what an awesome, awesome presentation um, regarding the 21 days breakthrough and the hydration drops, the importance of us taking chopped free marts, hydration drops with the distilled water. My request is that this um, presentation be repeated today at the noon call. And secondly, Dr. Wheaton, I would love you to do a sister call on the hydration drops as what you did this morning. It was just Awesome. Excellent. A plus. Thank you. Awesome. Hi, this is Oriana. I have, I have a question. Can you use spring water instead of distilled water? 
you can use, uh, 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 you know, uh, as long as it's pure uh, water. But what is uh, good about distilled water is that distilled water has a negative charge. So it will attract the positive charge of toxins in your body. And it will help pass them out through the urine. So oh, that's that's great. Distilled Thank you. water. Wow, wow. Okay, anybody else? Quickly, anybody else? Start, hey, I got start. a question. I have a okay, question. Uh, hey, uh, doctor, uh, I was hearing some things about uh, the the temperature of water. Do you have anything to say about, you know, whether you drink water warm or ice cold and what it does to the body? Okay. Um, some people uh, used to warm the water. You can actually uh, heat or warm uh, the, um, uh, you know, distilled water with hydration drops, and it does not uh, affect uh, the uh, effectivity of the hydration drops. You can warm it, you can freeze it. Uh, uh, it does not, uh, you know, um, affect the effectivity of the hydration drops. Some people use it warm because, uh, uh, especially early in the morning, because uh, they uh, always claim that it will make them um, make their bowel movements much uh, faster and more effective when you are drinking warm uh, water with hydration drops as compared to drinking it cold. Right. Thank you so much. Okay. Awesome. I'm going I'm going to come back again and ask a question. I've heard that it's, um, room temperature water is the better water to drink versus the cold water. So, which is true? Is that correct? Well, you know, um, most people just drink the water at uh, room temperature. And, um, but some people... Uh, wants to drink it cold. It does not really matter whether it's at room temperature, warm, or if it is cold, it still has the capacity of uh, the uh, distilled water with hydration drops to penetrate your cells and wash your cells of toxins and give you energy and uh, uh, also produces that antioxidant that uh, neutralizes the free radicals. Awesome. Uh, Doc, what about, uh, let's address real quick about plastic versus glass. Okay. Uh, you do not um, want to uh, put the drops in a plastic container because it will extract the toxins from the plastic container and it goes into the water, and you are drinking those uh, toxins. So that's why you have to transfer the water from the plastic container to a glass container before you put the drops, six drops or 12 drops. Awesome. Very important. And so, awesome. Yes, because now, again, if somebody is out and they just have to buy a little pint of, of water, you know, they can, they can throw the... Um, a hydration drop, put one in there and drink it real quick, but you don't want it at any time stored at all or any time like that um, because, like you said, that plastic is leaching. And so uh, I heard you say, and I went to, uh, what I did, as a matter of fact, I'm about to go on the trip. Uh, I'll be leaving here. And so what I did, I got the, from Walmart a two-gallon glass jar, and so I buy the distilled water, as you uh, said, uh, and I uh, poured it from the plastic into the glass, and then I treat it once it's in the glass. And then I learned like at places like 7-Eleven, they, like they have this mint, uh, cold pressed um, uh, mint drink. It's all 100% it's all natural. So once I drank that, then I just kept those little glass bottles. And so now I'll fill up those glass bottles and take it with me when I'm out during the day. And that way I don't have to worry about, you know, buying something with plastic and using that. So that may help somebody else. Anybody else with a quick question or comment? We're going to have to close out here. Our time is up. 
But anybody else, star, star, one, eat line, if you want to ask a question of Dr. Wheaton and Doc, this has been so valuable, so, so valuable. And thank you for that 200diseases.com. I mean, that is just a wealth and wealth of information that everybody has to have. So let me see here. Um, anybody else? I think star, star, as I mentioned, will unmute your line. Star, star, will unmute your line. I have a question. Uh, can okay. you can you put the one drop of hydration drops into your tea or into uh, your your tea that you drink? Yes, you can. As a matter of fact, you can uh, use dehydrated water and boil it, and uh, you know, put your tea there, or uh, um, boil it and put your coffee. You know, use use it for. Uh, Brewing your coffee. So it's okay to add one drop of the hydration drop into your coffee or or your drink that you drink? It is okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. One or two drops. Now, I remind you that if you do not have a glass container, you can just uh, pour the water from the plastic container into a glass. You know, right. um, a glass, and then on the glass, you just put a couple of drops for each glass of water. And oh. you can do that, especially when you're traveling. Oh, okay. Mm. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, doctor. Wow. All righty. One more. One more. We got to go. One more. Star, star, one, meet your line. Speak now, forever hold your peace. <laughs> All righty, anybody? Stan, I just want to uh, remind our audience that I made a video on what is health care, and it is available. If you go to YouTube and just put what is health care by Dr. Awitan, and you can, uh, you can access that video, and it will explain to you what health care means on my perspective. And um, it will tell you that my perspective, uh, first, that healthcare is not what healthcare is not. Healthcare is not conforming to what the crowd do because it is a common practice of people around you. It is not prescribing or taking pharmaceutical drugs with side effects even worse than the original disease prescribed for. So what is healthcare? To me, healthcare is taking responsibility of your own health without depending on somebody else telling you what to do. It is taking care of your health issue by thinking critically about your mm. options when your doctor prescribes a pharmaceutical drug with known side effects that are not good for your longevity. And, Come on! Uh, that Come is uh, uh, okay. very important to know. And it is a solution yeah. of long-existing problem of people dying of chronic diseases because conventional medicine is just treating symptoms but does not address the primary cause of disease. And it is the awareness that vaccines contain toxins that are detrimental to human health. It is the accomplishment of physical, emotional, spiritual, and financial freedom of individuals. It is a successful caregiving of your sick parent at home, although you have responsibilities for your own jobs that make you a living. It is wow. so the ability of having a strong faith and Pray hard that Almighty God, with His infinite power, will not allow continuous destruction of the lives of His children, dying of chronic diseases because the big money powers are pushing their agenda for big money profits. And above all, wow. it is knowing to be healthy by personal education. Thank you so much, Dr. Stan. <laughs> okay, so Dr. Wheaton. So first of all, you got to come back tomorrow and cover that. Come back tomorrow. Uh, that video, folks can go there. And, and by the way, 
Um, it's A W I T A N. Is that correct? A Wheaton, Doctor yes. Wheaton. When they look for that. Um, but if we can bring you back tomorrow, Coach 100K, I, I think we ought to turn him loose to come back tomorrow and do that whole piece. What you think? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> okay. So, Doc, would you would you agree to come back tomorrow, folks? Would you agree to bring somebody with you, one or two? But well, let me just read this real quick. That is, Shop Free Mark products have not been evaluated by the FDA. We make no claims that our products treat, cure, or prevent disease. Now, it may be a good idea to have a doctor monitor your results whenever beginning any health regimen, especially if you're on medications for blood pressure, blood sugar, as you may need to reduce these medications as your body returns to homeostasis or proper balance. Uh, we've got many people on this line that can give testimonials of uh, the wisdom of that um, uh, because when they started, uh, everything from high blood pressure medication, diabetic medication, I mean, all kind of medications, even Lily Gray's grandson, uh, the, the sickle cell medication. I mean, uh, it's incredible. So, again, the wisdom of checking with your doctor. Also, by the way, Shop Free Mart shares up to 100% of its profit share value back with its members, and any profit shares you receive will be based on your personal efforts. So, my friend, we want you to get involved, and uh, we want you to take action, my friend.